Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, March 19th, 2019. And what a great day today. Miss Vegas, what about our watch? My goodness. It's been quite an interesting day. You know, the spies all over the place. And uh, you just got to trade the channels that things present themselves in. So we're going to start uh, today. We're going to talk about staff. We're going to talk about TLRA. We're going to talk about AVID. We're going to talk about CFMS and AMD. So let's get started and talk about staff. Staff as in Staff 360 Solutions. And they're involved in the um, international staffing. They obviously look to hire candidates for companies in both the UK and in the US. And um, obviously they have a very, they've actually redone their website, I noticed. They have commercial staffing for the U.S. and professional staffing, and in the U in the U.K. it's just professional staffing. They don't do commercial staffing, um, which is the difference because um, you know the support staff, which is more the professional staff, they're looking for people to um, helping people hire for accounting jobs, engineering, administration. Um, they also have a temporary division and contract division, so. At the end of the day, they are basically just an employment agency. And I really have to say, knowing all these employment agencies out there, um, Brendan Flood's done a really good job uh, with this company. So uh, actually bringing this to an IPO. So that's quite interesting. So let's just go right ahead and talk about staff. So we did notice staff earlier today. Um, I did alert this stock uh, to the group. Um, I did watch it earlier, but I really wanted to see this have a support at the 50 days so the idea that i wanted for the trade for the day was a dollar 84 as the entry because i wanted the confirmation at the 50 day and 190 was the 200 day and the next resistance i did see was 222. i did see here after hours that staff uh did break the 222 and uh went as high i have to see how high, how high it went because i just my platform just shut down there for a sec um, it went as high as 249. So, wow, what a move it had after hours. But you know what? It's broke back. It's pulled back now. And uh, now we're at, we're back to the 219, 220 level. So, Jim, I'm going to turn it over to you because I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think, you know, stock's still bullish. Will there be a continuation? Um, and what kind of support levels have to hold in the event that anyone's interested? Well, we've had this on, yeah, we've had this on our aftermarket report before. Last time we yes. called it out, it ran up for us, and that was a couple months ago. It from I think it was right around this area, right in here, right around 178. And then we had that big breakout, and it ran on up. So we've pulled back to support again, and then as Miss Vegas says, she she uh, alerted it this morning. And let me pull up the 20 day. It popped up on the scanner, and I think it was right about in here where she alerted that before, right about in here. And so today, after hours, it popped up all the way to 249. That's really a good little run on this. So this thing's really got the momentum going for it right now. So let's look at the daily three minute. And these extended trend lines are all the ones that we've had on here for the last year or so. And they just keep falling right into place. You see that 245 right there had a resistance level of 249 high. It did kind of consolidate there right around the 245, 246 and started to pull back. And we've got us a little support level here at 220. So if this thing pulls back anything at all, more than what it has already, I would expect it to go no lower than this $2 right here where that previous high uh, went right before the market closed today. And it did kind of pull back from that high to my red line support level at 190. And then here after hours, it had a huge pop. I mean, a huge pop. So she's kind of pulled back and consolidated consolidated right here at the 220 level. So we've got a low support at $2. And you can go ahead and stop and pause this video if you like and write these numbers down. Save it if you need to. Match them up with your charts. See if I'm right. See if they look compared to yours or fine. But we're consolidating right now after hours at 220. The tape's real busy right now. And I'd say we're going to keep this on watch tomorrow and, and, and just keep it on a good watch. And the next one we're going to talk about is TLRA. 
Oh my gosh. So can I just tell you, so you guys know, especially you loyal YouTubers, thank you so much, first of all, listening um, regularly because you know what? This really does make a difference, okay? And I've been getting a lot of nice messages from people saying that this is really helping them because they can't be in a room all the time and the videos are helping. So that's why I love doing them with Jim. Um, but, you know, Teleria, okay, we've talked about the stock and this one had a little bit of a scary move. So we talked about this, as you guys know, on Sunday and the stock was, you know, closed on Friday at 6.04. And we did mention that Teleria, in my opinion, um, was still bullish. And yesterday when the stock was running, I just got to pull up yesterday because yesterday the stock did run and then it actually pulled back. And some people that were in a swing trade um, actually got stopped out. So, you know, yesterday uh, was Monday and the stock opened at 592, went as high as 637. But guess what? It had like a bit of a drop and it pulled back towards the 560s. 566 to be exact was the low of the day. And then it had a nice close at 606. And so the stock to me was still strong and kind of holding up to the levels of you know, where, where we kind of talked about on Sunday. And then here, once again today, um, the stock did open at 606. And Teleria, to me, is still very strong. I think it's still in a nice bullish channel. It's at 633 after hours. Um, still looking for this continuation of a stock. And there was also something else I did want to mention about um, TLRA. I'll see if I can pull it up here and uh about the stock just give me one second if i can if not i'll just let jim you know what, jimmy you can talk about the chart i just have something i want to comment after the uh yours your yeah well here's the year's chart on tlra and we did call this breakout stock we've been watching it we've been talking about it on in the aftermarket report for a little while now and I'm going to pull up the five-day chart. We did hit another year high today at 665. And it did find some support here after hours right at 632 is where it closed at. So I'm going to pull up the five-day chart, five-minute. And when she was talking about the pullback here, she was talking about this little thing here. And actually, it did it a couple of times, but it bounced right back up. And it pulled back here. And you're going to have that. I mean, it, ha it happens all the time. We did have a pretty good little pullback in the morning, but look at it when it when it opened up. It opened up at a new high here, at 6:32, and then she went ahead and pulled back right into about oh, I'd say the first 15 minutes of the market, and then started consolidating and bounced on up to that previous high that we had on Friday. And then Monday later, oh, a little bit later in the afternoon, we had another pullback on it. And then within two candlesticks, we we're right back up there to resistance again. And she did close at that two, a little above that, that previous high that we had the day before, which means it presented a higher high. It closed up right around this area right in here, around 608. And then today, it was just a beautiful little run all the way up to 20 SMA and bounced up and created that new high here at 665. Pulled back right into close, hit that 100 on the on the five day, and then she went ahead and missed a five day five minute. So let me pull up the daily one minute. This is the chart I, I, I study every day, the daily one minute. And it did pull back a couple times to that 200 SMA, snugged up against it, and right into close we had the sharp sell off from that 665 area. And it bounced and it dipped on down to a low right here around, I'd say, 623. And then she's created a, uh, oh, I'd say, an ascending little wedge going upwards and closed at 632 with a little bit of after hour action right now. So let me magnify this up and see where we are after hours. We're right around 630 right now. And I think that's what the tape will read. Yep, 630. So we're very bullish on this stock. We've got a lot of room to look here to see where it wants to go. And I'm going to draw a couple trend lines. I'm going to draw one right here at 646. Right in this little cavity right here, 645 to 646. The next resistance is going to be right around the 653 area. Then you got another one right up here, right, well, 653, 654. Not a big, huge difference right there. And then we got another resistance right here, right around the 660. 
so we are at a 52 week high again today it did kind of pull back hard there right into close and then she consolidated and bounced up a little bit so I think we're pretty fine right here we, we did reach above where that previous high was at 629 and all I can say is keep a good eye on this tomorrow keep it on your watch list any kind of pullbacks you want to that that happens to it you might want to get in on the pullback that would be a better time to get in it because we're still very bullish on this trade and let me look at the 20 day one more time yeah I don't see it going no lower than this area right around the six dollar area that's going to be a solid support for you and you can see how the day was is a very bullish day on it and the resistance we got to break is going to be right around this 650 54 area and then she'll move on up and create new highs but let's see if it pulls back to that 606 if any at all or pull back and I, a lot of times when I'm looking at these charts I'll play these moving averages and right now we're below the 200 so we need to turn these two around we need to turn this 20 and this 50 up above the 100 and the 50 to keep it bullish if not your support level is going to be right here at 632 and 606 and that's TLRA and the next one is AVID or okay, so I just Vegas, to just... do, you have, do you have something else you want to say about TLRA yeah I did so uh, what I did TLRA two things so first of all they do offer trade the desks so the ticker is TTD um, trade the desks unified um, ID solution so that's you know they do provide that to trade the desk so that's good to know that's how they're connected with trade the desk and the other thing too is that uh, if you were to look at the actual chart it's kind of made a u-shape pattern and if you actually also look at the weekly chart um it looks like you can see that there is a bit of a gap there and that the u-shape it created looks like the stock is on a new trend and i can see this with the volume sticks that are here so it definitely looks like it's on an uptrend and looking to go higher so we'll see what happens here on tlra but uh still bullish personally on this stock yep, i agree so, with her 100 percent. thank you all right so now we're going to talk about a v i d avid do you know what avid does do you guys want to know what avid does okay well thanks for answering the question so avid technology um, they're into multimedia and graphic software. They're in the technology sector. And um, this one here I liked because it had a new 52-week high. And um, this company here, if you go take a look at their um, website, uh, they, they help, um, you know, prepare students for creative careers in digital media. And they offer state-of-the-art technology. They help people create a real-world experience. So they do have a lot of really good tools. Um, and you can take a it's a, kind of looks like a subscription based product uh, where people can go on here and you have to subscribe to the, it's basically a, pa a platform to empower, um, that helps to power media and entertainment. So what happened is they wanted to reimagine content creation and uh, basically what they do now is they re-image the entire media value chain with platforms for creating, managing, storing, and monetizing film, TV, and music. So this does have a, uh, their platform actually empowers more than a million users and thousands of media enterprises that can tell powerful stories. So this platform is really to help people in that space. So Jim, over to you about avid chart because that's, i'm really liking it that's an interesting website too it is i'm just kind of looking at it and i've never quite seen a website like this before no it's very different yeah so let's look at avid what do i do with my chart here that's the wrong one we want this one here okay so let's pull up the yearly We'll take a look at the yearly. We had a nice, huge three-day breakout on this trade here. I mean, it's sitting down here at a, at a low of around 490, and we run up all the way to 715. So we've got three different levels of 
support level here. One of them's right around the 3654 area. And then we got another resistance right around this spot, right around 667. So we'll put that in there. And then we got another area right here that had a previous high at 699. That's looks right, right about where we closed at, at that 699 area. Then I'm going to draw another trend right there. So I haven't touched this chart since the last time I've I played with it and it was on this previous breakout that we had back in here. So let's look at this. Let's bring it down to a 20 day. See what I've missed. Pretty much right on smack on where I need to be on this trade. So let's go back to the 5 day or the 1 day, 1 minute, 5 minute. Pretty much smack on. So we have a resistance right here at 710. We do have a support level right down here at 653, which we were at this morning, as you can tell. And then she went ahead and she's got a little pivot point area in here right around the 682 area. So let's do that. Let's bring it to one minute daily. And I got one more support level right here. You can see where it touched up here yesterday, right about the 691 area. And that's about where we touched back just a little bit ago. So I'm going to put that 691 in there. And this is kind of what I'm seeing right now. I've got a low support level right in this little here, right around 682. 682 or right, maybe right down here at the 670 spot. And then she went ahead and she's got that high right there at 715. So if it pulls back any, I'm going to see if it hits this 200 SMA. That's where I think it will probably go to. If it starts to break below that 200, we're going to be looking at a support area in this channel right in here between 653 and 670. But what we need to do is break that 715 resistance. So we've got three different areas. We've got the low support of 653. We've got the 670. And then we've got the 6, 691, 682 area. And if she wants to break, she's got to break that 715 resistance. And I'm going to pull up a three-year chart, see if there's anything that I'm missing. Yes. We could run this on up. If she decides to break out, we can run this up to 743. 743 and maybe around 755. And then you got another resistance up here around 775. So we're teetering up past the, the, uh, the one-year. And then we got the two-year high right here, right around the 746. And then, if, believe it or not, if it wants to go back up to the three-year high, we're looking at 972. And this is Avid. Keep it close. Put it on your watch list. We've had a real nice breakout on this stock. And, well, I mean, within two days, we've come from 440 all the way up to 713. <coughs> so that's a pretty good little bounce. Pullback support is going to be right around this 353 area if it wants to pull back there. And I'm looking at that pretty closely. At that, 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 either one of these three lines, the 607, the 631, or that 653 area, for if it decides it wants to pull back. And this is AVID, and that was a nice little pick, Miss Vegas. Yeah, we like that one. So yep. the next one that we like is, uh, and we've talked about this, so a little further back to see when I did talk about it again. Because again, it's just making it in a nice little channel. This is a FMS, which is, and uh, you guys know they do the, um, you know, they're into, uh, I think they do the knee replacements. They have all, they do knee replacements, customized knee replacement products. And, um, you know, you could, you could read all about what they do. Their technology is, they're into the orthopedics, you know, they, you know, just, the, the gadget they have. I mean, can you imagine this in your knee? This this gadget. I mean, I'm going to call it a gadget because it looks like some serious metal here. Um, but they do believe that there's no other knee implant manufacturer that does what they do, because in the past they had knee replacements that came in a certain size, and what they do now is they actually do like custom knee replacements. So they make it specially just for your knee. So that's interesting. Um, so you could take a look at the website and they have very interesting technology. 
And what they do is they sell the replacement implants, obviously, to the um, surgeons. And they actually offer a broad line of customized knee implants that also help to restore the shape of someone's knee. So you'll all, you know, you'll hear sometimes, unfortunately, people have to get a knee replacement. Um, sometimes they need a, a total knee replacement. Uh, so this company manufactures these products. So this is a really um, nice company. It's obviously something people need. You know, a company like this would always be in business. Knee replacements are done every day. The surgeries are done for this. Um, but I picked this stock because I really like the channel that it's in. I really like this chart. And I'm very pleased with the uh, performance and the direction of where the stock is going. Um, I really like the fact that um, every single day, the stock in the last couple, I would say the last few weeks, probably since about, mm, I'm going to say like March 7th, it kind of hung around the 118 zone. But it really started to move March 12th. And then every day onwards, it's net went up all the way up to 214 at the moment. Um, and the volume has been really nice the last three trading sessions. We've been seeing 2.3 million average. Today was the highest I've seen at 3.5 million shares traded. And you know what? This is the highest I've seen in, I'll tell you. Uh, you know what? We haven't seen volume like this in a year, over yep. a year. So this is actually uh, very nice to see for this ticker cfms and jim what do you think of performance oh i'm really liking the performance of this stock right now and it's a shame that we didn't catch this down here at 36 cents i know when was that uh just a couple weeks ago how much about two weeks ago let me know at no, what no, price? No, i'm on a weekly here let me look no no yeah. the the 36 cents honestly yeah. was back in january yeah but you know listen imagine having like a thousand shares because I mean, 36 cents is so cheap, right? Yes. So you could buy a thousand shares and, you know, you would have spent uh, not that much money to get a thousand shares and look what you would have turned it into today. Oh, I mean, man. if you like to have swing traded and believed in this company and the direction of where the company is going, I mean, the stock has not looked back no, I've since been really this that chart. time. Since January, it's always been up, up, up. Yep. So I wish I would have caught it too. Yep. So, so let's hear about uh, Conformist chart. Yep. So let's look at the yearly. And we did have a little pullback right here back on uh, January the 2nd at 36 cents. And but then by February the 15th, she ran all the way up to 154, pulled back to a consolidated area here at 110. And then here in the last six days, it's ran from that 110 spot, 111, all the way up to 234. So I'm going to put a little resistance line right here at the, where it closed at today at 214. That's where it pulled back. Then we have resistance here at 234. And in fact, you know, stock like this selling so cheap, it's still cheap to me, especially for what they do. If they customize, they do customize these knee replacements. So we did have a previous high last year back on 420, where it was right here, right around 182. So that's where I think we could maybe possibly pull back to because it's had such a great run from this area of 110 and 182 ain't that much to uh to complain about but it does have a 187 where it broke out today here at 187 i'm going to pull up the 20 day let you look at the beautiful 20 day chart on this we were down here at 104 you can see i've charted this before and i've probably played this before if i look back at my uh my thing my, my prospectus but here we are at 110 she consolidated in the channel there for a couple of weeks to resistance level of right around 130 and then we had that breakout from that 130 area all the way up to this 234 in the past five days just a beautiful little wedge trend line moving up so I'm going to put another resistance right here at the 225 area we did close let me see what it says after hours. We'll pull up the daily one minute and see where we are after hours of this baby. So, yeah, we're right, right around here. We did pull back a little after hours to 206, and I do see that support level. So I'm going to draw me a little trend line right there. And this is how I'm looking at this trade right now. So we had a low right here of right around 203. So that's what I'm going to call solid support. And if I don't hold, 
it'll be right down here just under under a buck 199 that's where we're going to look at and I'm going to change this line red because I don't want that thing to go any lower than this I want it to keep the momentum up so we got a low support at 199 we got your first support right here second support at 203 and then 206 and she's got a ways to run up here she needs to break that 234 coming this week which I think it can it's very momentum you see how it hops up and it pulls back how it hops up and it pulls back right now we're in ascending breakout moving upwards and what we got to do tomorrow is break this 225 234 and I'm going to pull up the one year chart one more time to see if I can find a couple more resistances and that is a year high today so we're going to pull up the three year we've got a lot of ways to go this stock was at 1383 about three years ago we had a resistance level here right around 1255 so I think this definitely the stock hit the 100 today it's past I don't see the 200 on here at all but I do see we broke past the 50 and past the 20 so if she wants to consolidate here at the 100 that'll be okay we do have a couple more resistances to look at one of them is here at 260 and then 267 and then three three dollars then you got another resistance right here, right around 326, and she can move on up to the next resistance of right around 369. Pretty solid about that. And then we got the 408 to also keep in mind where that topped right there and where that pulled back. So we're going to call that 208 a pivot point on a three year chart. And I think this is a great stock to be watching. Add to your watch list. She looks real good. And the next one we're going to talk about is the winner of the day that Vegas called out and that's AMD in an options play so AMD you know I regret that I didn't catch this sooner today I will say because I've been watching AMD since last week and I you know I kind of saw the stock around uh, the 23 zone and I said to myself you know I got to keep this on a watch because you know the semiconductors area like this one and nvidia they're all heating up and i wish i would have paid more attention because you know 23s was kind of the zone i was kept watching and watching and watching but today was the day for amd to finally make its move and break out and you know if you look at the last couple of trading sessions it's always stayed in the 22 23 zone but the volume's been you know in the you know 40 millions 50 millions but today Look at that volume, 151 million shares traded plus. And the last time we had any kind of volume like this was back in January. And you know what? Um, I looked to trade it from the option side. So I gave an option idea to the traders to say, you know what? Because, you know, AMD is expensive stock. I mean, not everyone has the capital. So we looked at the options angle and looked at the AMD option call that expires on Friday for the March 22nd. And we took the 2550 calls because we wanted to buy them in the money already. And they were still cheap. They were at 66 cents. So this will be interesting what they go for tomorrow because tomorrow is only Wednesday. And um, I think the stock's going to be on a breakout. And I think we could look to see the stock in my opinion, in the next couple of sessions, not the next two, three days, but may, I mean, I don't know, anything can happen, but I'm thinking this stock's going to go to about 28 and then probably 30. So I want to hear what Jim has to say, because I love hearing about your charts. Yeah, I did mention this in the room yesterday, and I'm slapping myself silly for not bringing it up even more. But uh, AMD, she did have a nice little breakout today. This is the first options play I ever traded. And I made 136% on it. So, I'm, you know, this is one that I need to keep on my watch list. And let's just kind of pull, let's pull up the five day and look at it right now. This is the VWAP chart. So I'm going to pull this other one over here. Here's your 20 day chart. This did pull back to a low support at one time of $21. Should have been keeping a good eye on thin too. And then yesterday I brought it up in the room here when it was right around 23 and then today, right out of the gate, right when the, the bell opened, she went ahead and ran up to this 2632 area. 
and they're just a, a beautiful little chart today so we're going to pull up the Bennett and we're going to see if we can find try to and it's breaking up after hours it's up here now at 2634 so and it's still climbing up so it must have got some real good news today or something really got this thing to cooking and put so we're going to put a re support level right there at 2614 then I'm going to add another one right here at the 25 she keeps moving up 2640 now right there at that 2575 area and I'm going to pull up and see if we if this breaks all the highs that we we had a target on this one time at 30 bucks Vegas and I did so the last high we had here in 20 days was right up here at around the 2550 area so I'm going to put a little trend line right there then I'm going to pull up the 90 day and see if we got another this is a 90 day high today and we're going to have to try to get up there to that 2734 area and I think with this kind of mustard it can do that we did have a double top right here at the $25 area so if it does decide to pull back any you got three different support four different support areas to look at three really you got this 2614 let me magnify this up just a little bit you got the 2575 the 2550 and then the, definitely this $25 if it decides to pull back that far I bet you she bounces up from that very fast and very easily with a resistance at 2734 and this is AMD is a beautiful options trade I'm gonna keep my eyes a lot closer on this from now on and when you know when I know I there's it, so much going on during the day so I mean, even though, you know, we have so many great traders, I mean, it's very important to keep, stay focused. Yeah. Now, I do want to say AMD had news, and the news is that AMD, their Radeon, their, what they call their GPU and developer tools, tapped for the new generation gaming platform. So um, AMD has released a PR, and the news was that um, Google selected AMD Radeon data center for GPUs for their Vulkan and Linux-based Google Stadia. And Google announced the platform today at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. And AMD is going to be supporting Google with its software development tools and Linux-based open-source Vulkan drivers to help game developers optimize future titles to run on the new GPU-powered platform. So um, that is the news. AMD is delighted to work with Google in its efforts to bring amazing gaming experiences to legions of gamers around the world with reliability and no compromises on performance, which is what they expect. So um, this is fab fabulous news. Um, so this is, you know, could be why this stock's running, you know? So oh, yeah, it is. I um, mean, that, I mean, Google and AMD. So, hey, listen, anything goes. So that's uh, the scoop there, Jim, on that one. Yeah, we've been talking about the gamer stocks for almost a year now. Long time. Yep. And we noticed glue today. I know we didn't talk about glue tonight, oh, but yeah. keep your eyes on glue because we did see, um, I did call a breakout last week that glue was going to break out. And, you know, since we're talking about, you know, gaming stocks and things like that, glue should be on people's watch list as well. Exactly. G-L-U-U. -U. And along with that, there's another one too that's been bashed a little bit, and that's here, H-E-A-R. So yes. we're at a bottom channel on here too, right around the twelve dollar area. So this is one you want to add to that game and uh, sympathy play. Yeah, the one. Turtle Beach one. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Well. Okay. Vegas, and I do want to, want to mention to you, anything? last but not least, if you can just show them, I do want to show the option trade. I gave you a screenshot of it, Jim. Okay. If you can just show it. it's on your direct message there. Yes, I will. Um, uh, I did, and I tried to make it as big as I can, so it looks a bit better than like what it normally shows. But I do want to just close this off by saying, you know, this just goes to show you a small account can grow. I bought options on Chesapeake Energy. It's my second time that I'd bought options on this company. And I bought 10 contracts for five cents. And I only paid 50 bucks total. And you can see my expense right there. And I sold them today for 31 cents. And I made, it was $310 uh, that, I sold, that I sold them for. So take my 310 minus my 50 bucks and there's my profit so you know what That's great. I'm happy with $270 profit uh, which was great 
And you know what? You can't go wrong with that, right? Yep. I sold mine for, uh, I think it was 310 and made almost 200 on mine. So that was a pretty good little profit for me, too. Oh, yeah. So, so, and I sold them a couple of days ago. might have been yesterday or the day before. Right. So minus commissions. I mean, sorry, my profit was like 260 but then minus commission and everything. I mean, obviously, I had to pay a fee. So, yeah. But still, you know what? For $50 to make over $200 profit, okay, it's worth it. I mean, I'm happy I sold them. Today was a good day to sell them. Yeah. And uh, congratulations to traders that took it. And, you know, uh, when options are really cheap, you know, now that I'm getting more confident with some of these, you know, cheaper ones, and, you know, now I've traded Chesapeake enough times that, you know, the next time there's a really good bullish setup on a stock like that, I may go in a lot heavier because of the fact that the payday was there and the risk reward was, was, was worth it, you know? Um, yeah, we so congratulations to everyone. We identified this channel in the room. Let me see if I can pull up the 20 day real fast. Sure. Make it to 90 day. You can see it better, but we recognize this channel right here. And that last time it hit, it was right down here at around 273. So we've only been in this trade. <laughs> For, for a little o over a week. And when it hit that bottom channel right there, 273, we had a target for this thing at 321. And then today, she went ahead and broke out to that high at 338. So this was a perfect call. And it can go up higher. I mean, I've got three other different legs on this channel to hit. And we hit that, that middle pivot point, 360 and then 380, if it keeps on proceeding upwards. And this is CHK. And I think that about it. Vegas, is there anything you, else you wanted to say? No, I just want to say to everyone, uh, again, feel free to drop by. I also want to say uh, a special shout out to someone uh, that uh, does follow me on my social media. And I just want to say hi to her. And I'd like to say hello to Belle of the Ball. Thank you so much for listening to our show and uh, for uh, complimenting it. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and I want to thank everyone. So if you want to ever come by the room, come check out the free trial. There's no risk. Uh, and you know what? Like we said, we don't care if you don't join. We're just happy to see you. So come on over and uh, check out the room. All right. Well, this we also have on our website where we have our previous YouTube videos here after market reports so you can see that under the video section and every time we get done with one of these they go ahead and pop up in this screen so yeah this is the after market report with Vegas and Jim please subscribe ring that bell for future updates today's date is three, uh, March 19th 2019 and we love stocks let's have a great tomorrow Thank you.